Hello and welcome to another video of the series in which you are trying to comprehensively cover environmental science for civil services examinations and various other government examinations. So today's topic is phosphorus cycle. In this, we will be covering the biogeochemical cycle of phosphorus. Okay, so phosphorus moves through soil, plants, and animals. All right, but here's a catch: it moves slowly through the soil but it moves fastly through the plants and animals. Okay. Now phosphorus cycle is said to be the slowest cycle. Now why it is so? Now phosphorus, for example, when we consider the nitrogen or the carbon, then we see that the carbon cycle takes up carbon from the atmosphere. The nitrogen cycle also takes up nitrogen from the atmosphere, but such is not the case with the phosphorus and atmosphere is not the reservoir of phosphorus. This is one cause. The other cause is microbes take more time to convert soil into phosphorus. Okay, whatever the constituents of soil which contain phosphorus. So from converting soil to phosphorus, the microbes take more time. And as a result, the cycle is slowest. Okay, now moving on. Let us see how the biogeochemical cycle of phosphorus proceeds. Now. The weathering of rocks is the most primary source of phosphorus. Wherever the weathering of rocks is done or weathering of rocks takes place, the phosphorus is produced over there. Now, another sources are the volcanic eruption. When the volcanic eruption takes place, the sulfur and phosphorus are given out. Also, the asteroid impact works as a source of phosphorus. Wherever there is asteroid impact, which happens, it gives rise to the phosphorus. Okay. Now, the soils also, the soil is converted into phosphorus. The constituents of soil are converted into phosphorus via the microbes. And those microbes are pseudomonas and bacillus. And there are different other microbes as well. But pseudomonas and bacillus are among those which convert soil to phosphorus. Such the weathering of rocks and volcanic eruption and the asteroid impact and the soils are the main source for the production of phosphorus. Now, the produced phosphorus with the help of wind and water, they, the phosphorus gets transported. Okay. And that transported phosphorus reaches the plants and plants take up that phosphorus. Now, whenever there is a plant, or wherever there is plantation which takes place, we see that NPK fertilizer are given. So P is the phosphorus among it. So for fertilizers which contain phosphorus are given to the plant for a better growth or the proper growth of plants. Okay, so these are the different resources through which the plants take up the phosphorus. Okay, so when the plants take up the phosphorus, then eventually, the animals or living beings when they feed over the plants so the phosphorus reaches the animals or the living beings as well okay and upon the decay and decomposition the release of phosphorus take place okay so this is how the biogeochemical cycle of phosphorus takes place from weathering of rocks and various other resources phosphorus is produced with the help of wind and water it will get in it gets transported and plants take up that and eventually animals and living beings take up that and when the decay or decomposition take place it releases the phosphorus all right so this is how the cycle take place now let us talk about the importance of phosphorus why the phosphorus is important phosphorus is found in dna and also it is found in the phospholipids that make up the cell membrane and cell membrane is the one of the most basic constituent of human or living body. It also creates supporting components of bones, namely calcium phosphate. Okay, so the supporting component of bones are also made up of phosphorus. And many creatures require phosphorus for shell, bone and teeth. All right, so that, that is how the phosphorus is a very important constituent. Now let us see what are the impacts of phosphorus. 
Now, excess phosphorus in fertilizer, or whenever there is plantation, when the excess fertilizer which has excess phosphorus in it, it is detrimental to soil fertility. Up to a proper ratio, it is it aids the growth of the plants, but if it is in excess, it is detrimental to the soil fertility. It also poses a threat to aquatic life. Wherever there is excess fertilizer, it eventually reaches the aquatic bodies and then it poses a threat to the aquatic life over there. It also causes eutrophication or the algal bloom. Okay. Now, what is eutrophication or the algal bloom? For that, you may see the previous video that I have explained that in proper depth. All right. So these are the various impacts of phosphorus. So in this video, we saw what is the biogeochemical cycle of phosphorus and what is the importance of phosphorus and also what are the impacts of phosphorus. Now I have got you a previous air question. So this is the question from UPSC CSA prelims 2021. In order to attempt the question, please pause the video and comment down the answer. And if you like the video, please hit the button and subscribe for more such content. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.